Creating an Age of Ecology. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 215. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 215, May 7, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or join us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared. Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, completed the first 25% of three mind maps, which are for the Fulfilled Living Lesson Plan, Consensus and Decision Making Lesson Plan, and the Contribution Lesson Plan, as you see here. And we continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Relative and Dimensional Space lesson plan, Signs and Symbols lesson plan, and the Social Relationships lesson plan. This brings us to 16 of 52 finished, which is approximately 30% completion. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued adding people and elements from the learning tools and toys research we've done to create these updated renders of the Ultimate Classroom Yellow Room, and this one of the Purple Room. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created two new images of the food bars and food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, as you see here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team created 33 new pages related to the open source hubs from each of the seven villages. You can see some examples of these new pages here. We also continued creating the demo set of structures and layouts for the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template and tutorial. This week's focus was a more organized layout, adding more layers and creating the furniture and symbols sections. In addition to this and working on the Earthbag Village, we updated these section cut views of the Murphy bed inside one of the student domes. And we added Photoshop edits and details to this open bed view of the Murphy bed from last week. And updated this view of the children's shared room furniture design. Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, created this work breakdown for the Earthbag Village and related crowdfunding campaign we are developing. And Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 12th week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was adding the urinals and associated piping and researching the details needed for integrating the vacuum plumbing in with the non-vacuum plumbing. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 13th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was second generation septic research and the designs you see here. Ashwin Patil, web developer, 
also continued helping develop the new search engines for our site. This week's work was fixing an issue with the Strawbale Village search engine that was creating a fourth column and finishing integration of the final edits needed for the Highest Good Food search engine. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 67 of Dean's work. This week's focus was continuing development of the three northeast wing perspectives you can see here. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 22nd week of work focusing on the seating, children's play areas, and planters shown here in zones 5 and 6. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, helped create this new 3D tree texture for the Treehouse Village Pod 7. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team created six new pages and updated the Duplical City Center main open source hub to include them all. You can see examples of this work here. Rami Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the city center energy details with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant. What you see here is version 2.0 of the wind energy design and implementation tutorial developing behind the scenes. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her 11th week working on the concrete foundation details. This week's focus was writing more content for the city center footers foundation and flooring tutorial. You can see examples of this behind-the-scenes work here. Vomzi Pullergertha, mechanical engineer, also completed his third week of work helping with the city center basement finite element analysis. This week's focus was the initial heat transfer specifics for the boiler room, as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated our entire website to a new level of internet safety by adding an SSL certificate, updating all URLs to HTTPS versus HTTP, and fixing all non-secure elements throughout the site. Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Jonah Lewis, software developer, also completed their collective third week of work on the Highest Good Network. This week's focus, as you can see here, was working on the login page, function for adding new users, and testing the initial database structure. One community's goal is creating an age of ecology. What this means is we are open sourcing and free sharing the tools, tutorials, instructions, and do-it-yourself blueprints for everything necessary to create a sustainable civilization. And we've got a model to make it self-replicating so that the idea can spread around its world, create a global cooperative and collaborative of eco-communities, sustainable communities working together to create a better world for everybody, and ultimately usher in an age of ecology, an age of sustainability. At this point in history, there's no reason why we can't create a truly sustainable world that works for everybody. The technology exists, the know-how exists, and the people necessary to do this exist as well, because it doesn't require the entire population for creating an age of ecology. It only requires a percentage of the population to establish the foundation, and then for those, if enough people participate, we can reach that tipping point where we truly have created a sustainable civilization. And one community thinks that we can do this within our lifetime. And the way to do that is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions, and making the concept <clears throat> of a self-replicating teacher demonstration hub easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And our way of accomplishing that, other than the open sourcing of everything, is through an evolution of sustainability. It takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, highest good economics models, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together to provide a way of life that most people will find to be better than the way they are, they're, than they're living right now, and creating a path for replication that anybody can implement. Affordable, easy, attractive enough to spread on its own. 
this is how we're creating world change. This is our idea for creating an age of ecology is to create something that's better, a new paradigm, a way of living that's better than the way people are living right now and make it easy for them to implement that's founded on the consciousness for the highest good of all, creating a world that truly works for everybody. The idea of creating an age of ecology and that's actually possible within our lifetime and implementable as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub. The idea being that every little step, every little action, every little bit of participation from humanity is a step in the right direction. And so we want to make that as easy as possible. Open sourcing and free sharing everything with the individual components and the complete model, which in its ultimate expression is a solution model specifically purposed to create additional solution creating models. A self-replicating model so that one pops up that can create another and another and another and then those can help to create another and another and another creating a global suite a global archive of open source and free shared self-sufficient self-sustainable blueprints and instructions for everything necessary to set up communities villages and teacher hubs all over the world working together to create a world that works for everybody so if this sounds fun to you if this sounds exciting to you if it's something you'd like to participate in get involved it's all a matter of participation and our goal is to get mainstream participation to the point where we reach that tipping point where we truly create a world that works for everybody. And we see this as the foundation for addressing all of the world's challenges, all of them, crime, poverty, social injustice, war, obviously starvation and housing. We believe that if we can provide enough for everybody, that these things will be concepts in the past. And we will move past those and we will be uh, a civilization truly embracing the concept of taking care of our one shared planet because we have enough for ourselves. We no longer need to compete. We can cooperate and collaborate instead. And people say, well, what's the easiest way that I can help you? I just like to help, but I don't want to get involved. Well, the easiest way to help us is by sharing, sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. To reach the tipping point of human participation, we have to get the word out. And so our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so that these ideas spread on their own because people want them, but we still need the help of the public to share our information on social media, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to share our YouTube channel, to get the word out. The more people that participate, the faster we can open source and free share and create everything that it is that we're creating. The largest way to help us is we're still seeking large scale funding to get the property off the market that we've been looking at and focusing on now for seven years, it's still available, but we can't disclose the location and we can't take our development process to the next level until we have that property off the market. And so that's our focus right now is getting the property off the market. If you or somebody you know has the resources to either donate to the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization, we'd like to talk to you. We're 100% volunteer unpaid staff. So even the little donations, every little donation that we get goes towards our mission. But we're looking for that one solid investor or group that would like to invest in world change with us and be a part of creating an age of ecology for everybody. Anyone can participate in what it is that we're doing. The easy way is just sharing our information. If you'd like to be more involved, apply to be a part of our team. Apply to be a part of our 100% volunteer team or apply to be part of our pioneer team that will move to the property and build everything that is one community. Or just help us by sharing this information. You've already helped by watching to the end, so thanks for getting more knowledgeable about what it is that we're doing. Thank you for watching the end. Thanks for the small donations that we get. Thank you for the emails, the likes, the shares. All that stuff makes a really big difference. If you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that is we're creating, this is our written blog, this is our website, you can see all those details. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following.